is Dr. Long Vo. And who is Dr. Julie Dow? I believe they're with Smile Center Dental outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario. We did a terrific interview with both of them for our Dental Top Doc Legends program because of the innovative work in dentistry that these folks are doing up they there. They have some groundbreaking work. And you're about to see one of the questions and answers that we asked them during our interview series. And then at the end, we have a lot more for you. So you want to stay tuned all the way to the end. Special offer coming for you. A very special offer. Stay tuned. Here's a question that I interpreted a little differently. But now that I've heard some of your responses to some of our other questions, there may be another way to interpret this question. When should I start brushing my baby's teeth? I was thinking that meant with a toothbrush, but when should I start brushing my baby's teeth? Uh, so same thing, before the teeth come out. Before they come out. That's, so we get used we to should, it, get yeah. the child used yes. to it. Because by, by the time the teeth... And we're not talking about with a toothbrush. Uh, it, it could be with a... Could uh, be? Well, if there's no teeth, then obviously the cloth and the finger, right? Okay. Uh, and, and once the, the teeth... Clean come hands in, as well. Yes, clean hands. Right. Uh, and once the teeth are out, then uh, you can continue with the, the cloth and introduce the, the floss and the uh, toothbrush. Very but, soft uh, toothbrush. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the reason why we want to brush the, or clean the gums before the teeth come out is also um, getting used to, to going in there um, and, and really for the, the child to get used to having somebody uh, brush his teeth and put something in his mouth, right? And get mommy and daddy used to going in there to really sure, doing yeah, it, right? Because, because it's not easy. For sure it's very difficult. And, uh, it's, it's a struggle, but uh, if we're consistent then uh, well, I found w w with our grandchild, and again, I'm a new granddad, so my wife has always been the one to give the bath when yes. Beckett stays overnight with us. So I am there helping, and I take him with a towel. That's well, the first time he had it, he screamed his head off. For sure. Yeah. The second and third one, he loved it. So I think, I mean, this is reminding me yes. of it that yes. once they get used to it, they like what's going yes. on here. And they, they tell you how to do it. So yeah, they tell not, you. If you're not doing it right, they'll they let they'll, you know. They'll remind you that yes. uh, you know you. <laughs> You missed the spot. Right? So we need to start brushing before those teeth come out. And so Dr. Julie, we, we've talked about the importance of starting right away, but there's so many things for a new mom to have to you know, know. Is there any kind of benchmark or um, trick of the trade to suggest as to when it makes sense to start actually introducing the brush as opposed, because we started out with the washcloth, wiping the gums and then the teeth. How, do you, how does a new mom know, okay, it's time to buy the toothbrush? Um. I would say when you see enough teeth that the cloth is not reaching all the way that you want to reach okay. and when you feel comfortable enough using the, the toothbrush um, because for sure if you're not used to it, um, moms may be reluctant to sticking something hard. Right, because your finger at least you have, yes, you have, the full you have control. tactile feedback. Um, and, and that's why the program is there for as well. So we're going to teach you and show you. Um, how to do it and or we have like certain tricks and techniques sometimes that we we've developed through times so using on all of children um, but there's no you know I'd like to so give there's you no hard and fast no, rule no there's no hard but you know the minute that they start by the age of two or three where, where they have most of their baby teeth then you should start using the um, a, a toothbrush definitely because there's so much you can achieve um, with the cloth and your finger and floss as early as possible that you're comfortable So even flossing it. as early flossing. as possible. Yes, again okay. it's all picking up like good um, habits, yeah. good habits Routines. and you know they'll they'll get used to it and often my kids if long forgets to floss their teeth they'll say daddy you didn't floss my teeth. And That's when you know that you it. have yes. instilled good habits yes. right? Okay and I know that you in, in your program you, you use the twos as a good uh, memory yes. device as well as the development so at two teeth the child is coming in when you have the, the mom bring in the child at two teeth are you in the office showing them how to yes, use a yes, toothbrush so we, at that yeah, point? Yeah, we can or? use it with toothbrush, we can okay. show it to them with a cloth as well, whatever um, they feel more comfortable. So that might but, be another incentive for really yeah. bringing your child in a two is that you, you could actually help teach them yes, how to make they that have transition. have to be comfortable. We can, you know, we can clean the baby's teeth when they come in, um, but the teeth can be clean, need to be clean every day. Right. So mommy or daddy, whoever's in charge of doing it, they need to be comfortable doing it because they will be the one providing uh, that care for the baby every, every single day. Great. Whoa, Dr. Mark, that's a good answer there to that question. That was terrific, but that's just the beginning. We have so much more to give you here. Where do we have more to give you here? 
DentalSecrets101.com. DentalSecrets101.com. What do we have there? There we have a. Hey, we have the entire interview that this was just one question from, but that's just the beginning. We have the Dental Secrets 101 special report. Oh, you do want to get that. That's a Absolutely. downloadable right away. You can get all these questions and answers, some new ones, some other information. Lots of information to take care of your dental health and the dental health of your family. But you're also going to get an ongoing newsletter with great tips for your dental health and taking care of your kids. But the interview is going to be terrific because it is just lots and lots of information with two dentists. And every time we add another series of these, we add it to the same thing. So you may find there's a lot more there than you even think is there. So if you liked this question and answer, now's the time to get even more. So click on that link that's down below, Dental Secrets 101, and get all of this plus so much more.